How to write a lab report. What is a lab report? A lab report is a type of academic essay that seeks to describe the aim, methodology, results, and summary of a scientific experiment. The main purpose of this formal scientific report is to investigate the extent of a student's expertise in scientific methodology and analysis. Usually, lab reports are required for technical subjects such as engineering, technology, mathematics, biology, chemistry, and physics. Oftentimes, they carry up to 25% of the final grade, hence you need to master writing this document to ensure you pass. How to format a lab report Just like any other piece of academic writing, a lab report has a particular structure that allows for the coherent flow of content. A lab report includes the following parts, 1. Title, 2. Abstract, 3. Introduction or purpose, 4. Procedure, 5. Results, 6. Discussion, 7. References. 6 Expert Tips for an Excellent Lab Report Just like with every other genre, there are tips learners can employ to elevate their writing and, subsequently, their grades. Some of the tips are, 1. Grab the reader's attention. Many falsely believe that a lab report does not have to be interesting, but this is far from the truth. Experts in all disciplines appreciate good writing, hence students are advised to draw the readers in using interesting facts and figures. 2. Ensure the content flows. The scientific process is chronological, hence it has a beginning and end. It is, therefore important to walk the reader through the entire process to ensure they understand. A logical flow also allows the reader to assess your method and see if there are any errors. 3. Use different tenses. Various parts of the lab report require you to use different tenses. For example, the results section uses the present tense, while the other sections use the past tense. This is because the findings are currently being worked on, hence the use of the present tense. 4. Clarify unforeseen results. Sometimes, your research may yield unexpected results which may be reasonable in light of certain variables. As such, you should explain how this could have happened and relate it to a particular theory. 5. Beware of research errors. Every researcher is likely to deal with various experimental errors resulting from issues such as poor quality equipment and blind data mining which can make your research boring and erroneous. 6. Compare your research to similar reports. Due to the widespread access to education, there are experts in every discipline, hence your research is likely related to similar ones conducted by your peers. It is, therefore, advisable to compare the results of your research to those of others to assess any peculiarities. Such a discussion can open the doors for learning opportunities on your end, so be sure to reach out to others.